Um, Don't Panic is originally a uh, flyer pack from that it's become a sort of online entity as well and it's now a website where um, people who pick up the packs um, and find arts events or music events inside those packs can then follow that onto the online website and explore that further with interviews or articles. Um, so the um, packs are distributed in sort of art spaces, uh, shops, bars, um, galleries, uh, outside certain events. We pick, we hand pick like 21 events a okay. week that we fly outside. Well, the viral side of it is very important. It's not just Facebook. It's also MySpace, and it's also, you know, Bebo, and it's Last FM, and it's um, it's everything. It's current TV. You sort of have to have a presence, um, and all these different social networking sites because that's where it's buzzing, and that's where people are, and so you need to have a face in those places. Don't panic. Realizes that um, all print is sort of moving from, uh, you know. Um, print to online yeah. and that's the case with the flyer packs is that there's still definitely a market for these things but um, I mean I know from I also uh, promote events and I know for a fact that it's my my online marketing is much is my, by far the most successful side of my promotion that's where I need to concentrate on is online online marketing it's the same with don't panic so we need to sort of drive our you know don't panic readers so to speak onto the site and that's where we want to keep them yeah, and we, we use our events that we do to promote our magazine as well. And we try to, <coughs> something that we're trying to do, because we have different themes for each issue of our magazine. So we're trying to sort of tie in the themes to our nights. So um, if you come to our nights, we, we film it, and then we might sort of do box pops on that particular theme, which might be peace or culture. And then we'll interview you, and we'll get your opinions on that, and we'll put it on the website. We have um, a lot of people that are on our site are there because they're artists or illustrators or designers. Okay. So it's kind of artsy, it's music based as well, because a lot of music fans um, who are chasing you know, what gigs are on that week. Um, yeah. But there's, we tried, we're trying to, in, you know, it's, we're trying to be as political as possible, we're trying to be as conscious and aware and, um, as we can. I mean, in terms of, Don't Panic as a marketing company, as a, as a flyer packs, tries to target um, sort of youth, um, what you might call underground culture. Um, and that's kind of their, their unique selling point when companies come to them and want to use Don't Panic to target a certain person, that's the type of person they're trying to target and that's kind of our readership.